One of the useful tools that we have here in the department is uh, things like the canine unit and the uh, police helicopter we call Air One. Uh, Air One's piloted by a civilian pilot and a police officer is the observer. They get involved in the pursuits and missing persons and things like that. Uh, it's equipped with a several million candle power spotlight on the front. Uh, some people call it the night sun, can light up entire areas like it's daylight. Also equipped with the FLIR system, which enables them to see uh, heat sources on the ground. The observers can usually distinguish between a dog laying up underneath a bush and a human body uh, maybe hiding up against the side of the house. So they're usually pretty efficient, helping us with our jobs, whether it's trying to find somebody who's running from us or uh, locating people at accident sites and things of that nature. Probably, I don't know if you can or not, but Bach would know. It's gonna go eastbound on Avenue I from Vaughn, turning northbound on South Collar. This vehicle's taken, I believe, George 15. I believe it was taken in a robbery with you. Negative. I haven't tried to light them up yet. We're approaching Rosedale now. We've occupied two or three times. It's going to go back west on Avenue G. 61 there. It's William David. Six Frank. 169, 16, 341 on the handle. This is radio 341, 16. Trying to initiate a stop at Avenue G. Driver's a Hispanic male, bald head. 321. We're in pursuit. Trying to throw something out of his pocket. George, George, 15, driver in custody. Uh, don't have the passenger. No. I'm clear. The next unit could they secure our vehicle? Come on, get up, get up. How'd you run? Did you get a good description on the passenger? No. That might be him. North of Rosedale behind the O'Malley food store. Hispanic male, white shirt. Don't yeah, he's running westbound. Come on, dude. It's a felony to run from us. Well, 
That's the passenger. The one that was caught last running up behind the store on Rosedale. He's going to be charged with evading arrest on foot. Right now, what they're doing just to save save time is going to is both the same criminal episode, so they're going to transport them both in the same vehicle down there. Book him in the Tarrant County Jail. Found out the driver is a known gang member who uh, just got released from boot camp for stealing vehicles. Uh, that's the reason why when I was walking him back, he was he was crying about going to go to prison for a long time. After we caught the first guy by the fence, how far uh, did the passenger run down past the store? He didn't get past the store. There was a fence that runs along the west end of the store, and I guess he laid up under there. And when you saw him, we thought we'd cut him off and keep going west. We came around the corner there. He, I guess he saw our lights or heard us talking, and he got up, started rustling, took off back eastbound. So we chased him around the fence and caught him over there on McKenzie. I could see him from where we were at when he would turn north on McKenzie slip. <laughs> yeah, he started to hey, lose I saw you right on top of him. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Thank you. That was a good job. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem, man. I'm on the uh, special response unit, and our primary focus is uh, come out here and assist patrol. Been doing this for uh, 13 years now, and there's no way I could do anything else. You know, my dad told me, uh, you find a job that you truly love, you'll never work a day in your life. And, you know, this has proven uh, that that was a true statement because love the job, couldn't do anything else, you know. Now we're responding to a fight at uh, one of the local bars here on the east side. We've had a lot of problems here. A lot of meth been dealt out, dealt out of this uh, bar. And uh, we'll see exactly how, uh, how bad this fight is. This is it right here. It's supposed to be on the, on the patio section of the bar, which is on the east side of this bar. Yeah, here it is. Let's go. Let's go? Is that what you said? Let's go? Keep your hands down, bud. Yes, sir. Put your hands behind your back. How about this guy that beat me up? I know. Put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. Give me another hand. Give me another hand. Give me another hand. Thanks. What happened? Back off. He was mad. Back off. The guy he made. Back off or you're going to jail too. Okay. Get out of get over there right now. I just wanted to tell you the guy was mad. I'm telling you, I'll I'll figure it out once. Figure it out, okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Put your hands on your back for now. He's not going to jail. That guy was messing with me on the dance floor. I swear to God he was. Tell her to get out of here. She's going to jail. Thank you. Thank you. You're not you're not under arrest. We just want to figure out what's going on. It's for your safety as well as mine. This guy jumping from bat I want to find out. We want to get to the bottom of it. I don't know who's at fault. You're leaving. I saw you leave, so that kind of makes me think that you might be guilty. You see what I'm saying? Come over here. Is this the other half of it? Yeah. Well, he was leaving. I saw him go in. He came out the back of the front door. Hey, 14. 14. We're both okay. We got both halves of it. Why don't you start a wagon up here for a couple meals? Okay. You tell me what happened. He came up behind me. He said, let's go outside. So I walked outside. As soon as I walked out the back door, he jumped, jumped from behind, snatched me, threw me to the ground. For what reason? I mean, you guys getting an something happened earlier? He threw, uh, he threw uh, a drink on my girlfriend. Okay. But here, but it was what was in the bar. Relax, was in the bar. Just relax, just relax, okay? Sorry. I understand you're you're emotionally charged right now, but I mean, look I want to get to the bottom head. of it. Look at the back of my hair. Hold on a second. By the back of my hair. And Hold on. Back. Let me see. He grabbed the whole hair and hit. Yeah, he got. He got him from behind and jumped me from the back. You can no, ask if the bouncer's huh? in there. He did. Okay. Well, like I, I said, tried to avoid it. Okay. Who else was in there that uh, may have seen this all take place? Oh, there was, there was, oh, right. Let's go on the floor. Next right. thing I know, he's, he's taking me outside. What's the fight over? What are you fighting over? I don't know. Hey, I'm dancing on the dance floor. Next thing I know, he's taking me outside. Oh, okay. We just need to find out, how, you know, where it started, how it started, and actually what's... I wasn't sure if they was both arguing or not, so I followed him out. Well, we'll see what happened. Okay. He asked me, he said, well, let's go outside then. 
So we walked outside. As soon as I walked out that front door, he snatched by the back of my hair, wrapped his whole body around me, but went to the ground. Yeah. Okay. That's what I got out of here. It's okay. Both on the ground, so. Okay. All right. How you doing? Good. He's the aggressor. He was. Everybody in the bar is telling me he was. Yeah, they, he said he was. <laughs> So I don't know. I'm taking them both. Okay. Everybody in the bar told me he, he was the aggressor, and I got a couple people telling me he's the aggressor. They're both drunk. They can both go. Sir, sure, man, go to work tomorrow by 8 a.m. And I swear to God, I'm gonna get to like like my job. Him? Yeah. He's been here for about 45 minutes. Okay. And he's had one beer. Okay, well, let me explain to you what the legal limit is. There's no point one zero. If he's had one beer, he's legally intoxicated. Okay. He can't be out in public after he's been drinking. So. Okay, let me explain something to you, okay? You guys are involved in a fight here. There's several things that, listen to me, okay? This is part of the problem. You don't listen, you try to talk, all right? Now is the time to listen. You guys are both involved in a fight here, and there's several things that we can charge you with. We're gonna let you off, listen to me. We're gonna let you off as cheap as we can. We're gonna take you both for public intox because you've both been drinking a little bit. That's probably what the problem is. So. You're both going to go down for public intox. We're not going to charge you for the disorderly conduct and all that other stuff, OK? So go along with the program. These guys are going to take you guys down to jail in the paddy wagon. You better get along. That's all I can say, because we can stack them on you if we have to. So what time can I be bailed? You can be bailed out in, in a half hour, 45 minutes. No, if no one has a bail, what time do I get out? You'll get out at 8 o'clock in the morning. I have a job tomorrow, sir. I cannot accept that, sir. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, you're the one that uh, came up here and got in this fight, not me. I understand that, sir, but we're not in the public. Ain't no big deal. Like I said, public intox is no big deal, man. Sure is to me, because I want to work by 8 o'clock tomorrow. You could be charged with a couple other things. Right. And what we're doing is just, we're charging with yeah, just yeah, public, no, listen, listen to me, just listen to me. Right now, all you're being charged with is public intox, okay. which is the, the, the most minor thing that we can do, okay. and I understand what happened? I, I understand, but what I'm saying is, you have to understand is that there's other people here saying one thing and then they're saying the other. We can't be the judge out here. You know. You want to separate these guys? Or you want? Yeah. Have a seat. Oh my God. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I'll follow you down. Hey. Vice. Yeah. Okay. Grab onto that blue strap. So probably on the right. what? West Riverside. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Terry, yes, you got to remember, whenever there's a situation like this, it's kind of hard for us to judge who's at fault and who's guilty, or who's not guilty, I should say. But be advised that when you get into a situation like this, you're going to go to jail. But all I asked for was my shirt. And that started this whole thing? All I asked for was my shirt. Well, we're not going to go into that right now, but I'm just telling you, you can't be fighting in a public area like that. I guess uh, that guy asked the, the wrong girl to dance tonight. Yeah. Yeah. She wore a drink, I guess. He threw the drink on her, but it doesn't take much to set him off. Yeah. All over a woman. Guys I work with, you know, we're pretty uh, tight. You know, you have to be in high crime areas and fast paced environment. Because really, that's all you have out here is each other. Keep each other safe and so they can go home to their families. Go ahead. Cancel that Charlie car. I've been route to the disorder on uh, 14th Avenue. Responding to a disorder going good at uh, 14th Avenue. Uh, another officer didn't have backup, so I'm diverting from another call to go over here and back him up. And all we know is it's a disorder going good, I guess, between a man and a woman. So we'll find out when we get there. Seven, I'm gonna be out here with it. Okay. No, there's kids playing. Is there a disorder going on out here? You have to ride to him, do ya? Huh. <laughs> Don't like dogs. What's going on? But anyway, uh... <laughs> Can I talk to someone in private? Certainly. Please? Yes. Please you want to talk to this here. officer right yes, here? Yes, come out here. Okay, what's going on, ma'am? What's going on, ma'am? 
What's going on? Okay. Um, I went to my father's in Houston, Texas. My brother okay. is in politics. His okay. name is Jonathan. And my father is an ordained minister. Okay. He called my father and said, I went there to get away from this drug situation. All this doggone stuff that's coming in through this sit, through this doggone area. Okay. And what kind of drugs are you talking about? Bad drugs. Okay. And he swore he wouldn't do it anymore. And so he wants to move out. And I paid him $140 last week. He's going Damn. off. If he wants to move out, that's fine. But he's going to go off. And we've both been drinking alcohol. Okay. My aunt told me I'm trying to get a ride. He knows I have nowhere to go. I've sold my car to give him rent money. Him? Yes. Does he live here? I just went through $2,200 and let him have it. And I didn't get out on my own. Point is, I've tried to help him. He don't want no help. And I could tell you worse. Y'all could take him in, but I don't want to let Any you know. Any drugs in the house? I, no, there's no drugs in the house. Now you hesitated. No, I don't know what's in the house, but there's no drugs. Okay. Or yeah, have you done any drugs tonight? Yes, I have. You have? What kind? <laughs> Give it to me. Calls him people. I'm trying to get off. Okay, okay. <laughs> Calm down, okay. Calm down. Calm down, ma'am. He's like you mind in Methodist churches. Calm down. My dad's a Calm down. Trying to get help. I don't want to see him okay. go to jail, but I, he well, promised he, my Well, listen, dad. listen to me. He's you got to calm me. down before we can help you, okay? I don't want to get him in trouble because he ain't dealing. Does he have a problem, Crack? He's trying to move to his brother's. So he, can, but he's putting me out, and he's not working with me. And I told him he could quit doing anything if he put his mind to it. Okay, you're doing crack, and he's doing crack, right? I'm not. I'm not calling anybody. No, I, I have no. Ma'am, this is very serious. Okay, is there any drugs in the residence? There's no drugs. Have there been any physical violence tonight? He shoved me. Yes. He shoved you. You want to prosecute for him shoving you? Yes, I do. It's domestic. You have no choice. Sir. Yes, sir. I know you've told us that you shoved her. And by state law, that is an assault. Okay? So you can't yeah. Y'all are together. It's domestic. Yeah. Our hands are pretty much tied. Um, so I've got to go to jail. She wants to prosecute. So. I figured she would. You know, can I call my brother before we go? If you allow an officer to go in there? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'll let him go in there. Okay. Do you have any paraphernalia in the house? There's right. nothing. There. Before we go in there, yeah. right. is there any more narcotics or is there any paraphernalia that we need to know about? Is there anything in that house we need to know All about before you allow us entry? All kind of paraphernalia I do have is I got some, like a sneak attack for smoking pot. Okay. I do so before smoke you pot. allow us entry, that's that's all we're going to find in there? Right. Okay. That's it. You won't find nothing to, to smoke it with. You know what right. I mean? I mean, but you ain't coming in to search, are you? No. Okay. No, we're just making sure you don't come in here and blow us away. Well, I'm going to the bathroom. It's right here. If you would, just leave the door open. We're not going to come in on you. It's a marijuana pipe. It's a tote. I pushed Melody, and she called the law on me. I pushed her towards the door, and she called the law and told him I pushed her. So it's it's turned over to the state. She said she didn't want to press charges, but it's over to the state now. So will you uh, get me a bondsman? How much beer have you had? I've had three of them. How much have they had? About pretty much the same. OK, let's go. Yes, they, i got to go. He's fixing to handcuff me. All right. I will. Bye. You would just turn around? I can't believe I'm being taken to jail from my own house. Man. Well, welcome to domestic violence. That's the way it is. Well, I didn't do nothing but push her towards the door. I know, but you can't. <laughs> you you can't, showed her the way out. You can't touch anybody. I know. Especially when you've been Man. drinking and smoking and crying. Bless up that beer. <laughs> I've been nice. <laughs> Give me ID. Yes, sir. I've got Go this officer here. Okay. He said he'd kill me. Is this your housekeeper? That's what he gave me. Well, here. He said you can stay here for tonight, okay? He don't want me here. Well, y'all can work that out later. There's no working out. I don't want nobody like that. Okay. All right, ma'am. You'll get a subpoena through court. What's that, doggy?
What's up? What's up? Big, big, big what doggy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another one. Oh, the drama. All because of drugs. Drugs and Budweiser. Yeah. <laughs>